Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Jennifer and Diamonds. I am Jennifer. If you are new here, welcome on in and I hope you enjoy your stay. So today we are doing a our weekly whip and chat. Um, so if you're new and you're not sure what a whip and chat is, whip stands for work in progress. Um, so I'm working on, this is uh, Lily, Lily Lagoon from Dreamers Designs. I am working on the final section of the third row and I have five rows in this the way I section it off I section it off in like 10 by 10 centimeters um so yeah so we're gonna work on the I'm gonna work on the whip and chat or the whip <laughs> while I chat about my week um nothing too interesting happened this week um but uh you can listen while you're working on your own whip it doesn't have to be dime pink it could be whatever or it could be you're just listening or I um, mean, doing chores or errands or whatever. Um, let me know in the um, comments below, though, uh, if you're working on something and what you're working on. Uh, first, we'll go through the accessories and stuff that I'm um, working with today. So my normal art dot uh, container storage set, what I usually work with. I'm hoping to get a bigger one. I need a bigger one for um, the diamond painting I'm going to start working on next month because that has 67 colors. Um, this one only holds 30. Um, the putty that I'm using in my multi placer is the same one I was using last week, I believe. Um, it's from Creations Morin. It's uh, oatmeal cookie dough scent. It, is so, it smells so good. It really smells like oatmeal cookie dough. Uh, the tray that I'm using is from... Um, Sleepy Puppy 3D. Yeah. Um, this was their Halloween uh, tray. I think it's still available because I believe they said it was going to be available to the end of the month. Um, you can choose either purple, green, or a mixture of the two. So I got a mixture of the two because I thought the colors went really well together. And then you can also choose the picture that you have on the top. I think there's like a, a dozen or close to a dozen different ones you can pick. They're all Halloween themed. Um, it also came with this little tray that I'm using as a trash minder. This is all my trash that I've had so far. It does seem to be a lot of trash, but so far I haven't run out of any colors, so I'm not worried about it. Um, the pen I'm using is my normal pen that I got from Timu. Um, I have tweezers because I have started this week actually placing my uh, ABs with tweezers. I actually find it a little less frustrating than actually using a pen. Even with the uh, one that you get from uh, Dreamers Designs that looks like this, which does make it easier, this tip, um, but it was still frustrating me. So I decided I'm gonna try just to use tweezers and it goes slow because you have to single place, but I was single placing anyway, so whatever. The um, wax that I'm using is just the wax that I got with um, one of my Diamond Art Club kits. And I think that is it for accessories um, this week. Um, okay, let me get a color started here. So what I've been doing is, um, I'm just going to take this out because I'm going to probably need wax later at some point. I kind of just do this so it's just easier. Um, let's see, what color do I want to start with? So what I, I was going to say, what I've been doing is I haven't sorted, um, the colors sorted between like in alphabetical order, then numerical order, and then symbols. But the order that I've been, excuse me, the order that I've been um, actually using to put them on the canvas is numerical, then alphabetical, then symbols, and then AB's last. I don't know. I, I have an order to things. <laughs> um, so there has been actually a couple colors in this kit that I'm I'm getting low and I get low and I'm like looking to see how much more is left on the canvas because I'm afraid I'm going to run out, which is totally possible. Um, and I'm hoping I don't. I mean, it's not going to it's not going to be an issue to get um, replacement drills from Dreamers Designs, but it, there is going to be a wait to get them, and I'd rather just finish the canvas. <laughs> um, so we will we will see what happens. 
Um, so let's see. I'm not really going to go in an order of things. I just made notes of that stuff to talk about. Not necessarily in order of how they happened during the week. Um, so, although it might be in somewhat of an order, like I will say general dates or whatever as I go. Um, so earlier in the week, or like on the weekend actually, I think it was, I got a, I got an email from Diamond Art Club saying that May May, which is one of um, Richard Lorenz's birds, was low stock. And I'm like, ugh. But my husband's been, <laughs> he's, uh, he's uh, kind of like teasing me out how much money I'm spending, like how much I'm getting for uh, diamond paintings and stuff. So I was like, Ugh, I don't know if I can get this one. I really wanted to, and I was trying to figure out different ways to do it. And like, I have points and I use a code and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, eh. And then we think on, I think it was Monday, um, Diamond Art Club came out with a promotion that they're doing. It ended on Friday, and it ended yesterday. I'm filming this on Saturday. Um, the golden ticket. So I got an email, and I'm like, wow, because <laughs> they're, uh, it, start, it starts off the email. You've probably seen it if you have purchased stuff from Diamond Art Club or whatever, or registered on their site or whatever, get all their promotional emails. But it was like $2,500 gift card or whatever, I don't know, something like that. And I'm like, what? And then you read closer and $2,500 is the total of what will be rewarded. And it's 50, $50 gift cards that you could, so you place an order between when this email came out and Friday, I can't remember what exactly the end time was. And you have a chance of getting a golden ticket, the $50 gift card. So I had taken a screenshot of this and I sent it to my husband. He's like, what is this store three? Because he saw, like I saw $2,500. And I'm like, okay, don't get too excited. <laughs> like. Um, it's only a chance that's twenty five hundred dollars is the total value of all the prizes. You only have a chance of getting one of the fifty fifty dollar gift cards. And he's like, "Oh, okay." <clears throat> but that later that day, I sent I sent him a message, and I'm like, I'm getting kind of worried that. Mamie, like one of the birds, is going to sell out and it might not come back. Because there's always a possibility that if something sells out, it's not going to come back. It's going to be archived. And I'm like, I want to collect these birds. There's already two of the birds that are archived. And I'm like, I want them. But I'm also worried about what the price is going to be and in the D-stash groups and all that stuff. So he's like, how much is it? So I tell him much of how much it is. I think it was, I had done some calculations. So I'm like, oh, I have this code and I have, I have enough points to get like $30 off or something. I said, so here's the price. I think it's like, I think it's like $91 Canadian. I said, I, I can bring it down to like, I think it was $65. When you, when, cause you, like when you take into account the shipping costs and blah, blah, blah. And uh, so basically he like, gave me the go ahead to do it as long as I kept it like around $65 or under $70 or something like that. I'm like, okay. So I did find out, although maybe I'm wrong and maybe I was just doing it wrong. I couldn't have a uh, like a discount code and use my points at the same time but um, even though it says that it's um, I was able to redeem $30 worth of points that's $30 American so it changed it over to 
Canadian. <clears throat> so it's actually worth more than $30 Canadian. Um, so yeah, so basically I, I was able to get May May for just around like $65. <clears throat> and that's including shipping and stuff. Um, so yeah, so I'm like, well, I have a chance to get this golden ticket thing. And, you know, I've told myself, I've, I have a chance, but I'm probably not going to get it. And I didn't. It, it arrived on Friday. Um, I went through that box. I tore that box apart. I, I opened up both ends because someone had said sometimes it gets uh, stuck underneath one of the flaps at the end. So I'm like, I, uh, I opened up both ends. Nope, no, no ticket. <laughs> oh, well, I was hoping, like I said, but... I wasn't really expecting to get one because it's there was only 50 available and there is like hundreds if not thousands of orders that go through in a week so the chances of actually getting one were pretty slim and I want so I mean I wanted to get May May anyway so it wasn't like I was buying something just to buy something in hopes of getting a a $50 gift card <clears throat> it was I wanted to get May made before it sold out because you like I said never know you never know if it's gonna come back or not and I really didn't want to lose out on it because my hope is to be able to collect all these birds um, another thing with the birds is to, <laughs> I regularly tell my husband I love him like multiple times a day at least two or three times a day and I did that this morning he was in the basement. I went down the basement for something and I said, oh, I love you. And he's like, is there any, so you said there's no more birds this weekend? And I'm like, no. He's like, I love you too. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> you, you're saying you don't love me <laughs> if there's a bird out there? <laughs> and I'm like, he's like, no. <laughs> so yeah, he thinks I'm crazy with all these birds, <laughs> but they're so adorable. I love that. Even my daughter thinks I'm crazy. Um, I wasn't gonna tell her I got another diamond painting because she just thinks I'm nuts with this diamond painting, like um, with all the diamond paintings I have, but I couldn't hold it in when she got home from school and I was like, I got another bird. And she just like, what, you're crazy. <laughs> She's like, you have so many diamond paintings that you, you haven't even done yet. And I do, I have, I'm working on two right now. I'm working on this one, but I'm also working on um, In the Arms of the Angel from Diamond Art Club. But I'm working on that one, and it's not for me, it's for my mom for Christmas. So I'm working on both of them at the same time. I do a, I just started that one a couple days ago. Um, I do on each of these diamond paintings I do a section each day and these sections have been taking close to two hours to do um, squares just take longer and even with this one where it has fair like sections of color blocking it just it squares it takes longer um, so yeah because my, my daughter yesterday when I told her about the bird, she's like, well, could I go over to, uh, she wanted to go over to the neighbor's house. And I'm like, well, first you have to come see my bird. She's like, God, you're crazy with these birds. She just doesn't get it. But I showed her my bird anyway. I showed her Mei Mei. She was joined the, the flock, as they say. Um, so there's that. So like I said, um, I'm working on two diamond paintings. One is this one, which is Dreamer's Designs, and the other one's um, Diamond Art Club. And the one that's Diamond Art Club is my first um, Diamond Art Club. And um, there is differences. Um, I like things um, for both. Like little things, like the cover sheet on... Dog here. Um, the cover sheet on um, Dreamers Designs is thicker than Diamond Art Club. And I like it way better. Like the ones on 
um, Diamond Art Club rip so easy. It's so flimsy because I I section off, right? So I'm cutting the sections as I go and it's just and the cover minders don't hold the flimsy um, co uh, cover sheet as well. It's it's kind of weird. Um, I was work the first time I was working on it, and I had because what I usually do is I have the cover sheet and I like fold it over to the side, and I use a cover minder to hold it. Well, the 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 one the cover sheet that was on um, Diamond Art Club kept on like because I'm putting my hand there, and that's where it usually is, and it was just. It, it was coming out from underneath the the cover minder regularly. It was it was driving me nuts. So now what I do is I cut the whole section and I take it off. I mean I don't have to just leave it there. I don't know. I think I left it there just in case I had to cover it back up, but I haven't be haven't had to do that. So I'm like I'm just taking this thing off because it was driving me nuts. <laughs> it was constantly getting in my way even with the cover minder. Um, so that's one thing that I like, I like Dreamer's designs over Diamond Art Club is, is the cover sheet. And it's such a small thing, but, um, it's still, it's still a thing, right? Um, I don't find like everybody raves and raves and raves about, the how the diamonds fit better on Diamond Art Club and the drills are better. Um, I think the quality of the drills is about the same. Like if you were take to take one drill, a good drill, can compare it to a good drill with Diamond Art Club, they're similar. Sure, there seems to be more trash in in um, dreamers designs but honestly who cares I honestly I don't I never understood why people got upset about the amount of trash as long as you have enough drills who cares <laughs> I just don't get it um maybe I'm missing something I don't know I mean I've seen people Trash talk Dreamers Designs. Like I, I've seen a, at least a couple people where they said, I tried Dreamers Designs and I couldn't finish it. I threw it out because of the gapping, which there is slightly, slightly more gapping in Dreamers Designs. Diamond Art Club's um, square drills definitely fit um, tighter. But not to the extent where I'm going to throw out a Dreamers Design Kit that I spent like $100 on. Like I understand it's cheaper in the States for these things. But they're still, they're not like cheap, cheap. So I don't know. I don't, I, I will never be throwing unless, I don't know. I don't know what would cause me to actually throw out. A diamond painting from either Dreamers Designs or Diamond Art Club. I, it's just too much money in my mind to throw in the garbage. There's nothing that I can think of that would be so awful that <laughs> I would throw it out and just not do it. I just... When I saw that, that was before I actually did a Diamond Art Club. and I But I had done Dreamers Designs some um snack kits and i just like what <laughs> like i don't understand i just i never understood it and now that i've done or i'm working on a diamond art club i'm like it's not that big of a difference between diamond art club and dreamers designs honestly it's not that big of a difference Um, 
So yeah, I wanted to give my thoughts on differences between Diamond Art Club and Dreamers Designs. Like, honestly, I don't see a huge difference. There are slight, very slight differences between the um, the toolkits, but most people care could care less about the toolkits. They've been doing this so long, or they have like pens from um, small, sh excuse me, small shops or trays from small shops. They don't need, or like putty, wax, whatever. You don't have to. You can get all this stuff at small shops, and people who have been doing this for a while have that. I mean, I've only been doing dime painting since mid July, and I have um, trays, custom trays, not custom, but like I have trays from small shops. I have pens from Timu, and I really want to get pens from small shops. Um, Let's see um you can get i have putty from a small shop you can get wax like actual beeswax that people use in um what well, with their diamond painting what they use in their pens like so to me the slight differences between the toolkits is a whatever thing it's nice for beginners people who don't have any anything um, like the only differences between um, the two kits is they have slightly different trays. Um, the pens are basically the same. The multi-placers, um, I believe Diamond Art Club has the thin multi-placers. I've never actually used them because I have these metal ones now and I... I'm fine with these ones. Um, these metal ones came from Timu. They're not the metal ones from Diamond Art Club. People rave about those ones. Maybe one day I'll get them. And I'll get like special pens from Etsy shops like I want to eventually one day. Um, the trays are slightly different. Um, Diamond Art Club's trays smaller. It has, but it has a a stop on it. Um, Dreamers Designs ha is bigger, and it has a. I have stuff in it, but it has this where you have to like click it in, and, cl and it, it is kind of awkward. Um, but I mean, they both have trays. The only thing that you get with Diamond Art Club that you don't with. Um, Dreamers Designs is um, cover minders, which Diamond Art Club has come out to say that they will be uh, eventually. You won't be getting cover minders in in their um, toolkit. Apparently, there's too many complaints about the cover minders. Um, I like the cover minders, even though right now I'm not really using them anymore, but I still like to collect them. I will be sad to see them go. They have said that they're looking at other options to put in, and then they're also coming out with some perforated cover sheets, so you don't you don't even have to use cover minders anymore if you don't want to, because you can just rip off sections of it. Um, I don't know. I'm still not happy that the cover minders are apparently going away because, like I said, I'd like to collect them. There's a lot of cute ones out there, but it is what it is. Um, and then the other thing that you get with Diamond Art Club's toolkit that you don't with Dreamers Designs is the washi tape. Um, I wish they would put washi tape. I like the washi, you know. I like the little surprise of Diamond Art Clubs with the cover minder and the washi tape because the rest of the kit is always the same except for the color of the pen and the squishy. But um, the, um, the cover minder and the washi tape was always a surprise on what you're going to get. So... 
I mean, I would, like I said, I wish there was, they would put in Dreamers Designs at least washi tape. Um, but yeah, so there, toolkit wise, there's not really that much difference except for the Coverminder washi tape thing. Um, I like the cover sheet, like I mentioned, on the Dreamer Designs over the Diamond Art Club. I just, I like the thicker stuff. It's so, th it's so flimsy. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when I first uh, saw the ones on uh, Dreamer's Design, or Diamond Art Club, sorry. Um, wait, do I need this color? I don't need this color. I took this color out for nothing. Um, so, and like the, the actual quality, if you took good drill compared to good drill of both um, Jamers Designs and Diamond Art Club, there, there's always a difference because there's more facets on the um, Diamond Art Club, but honestly, I don't see it that, that big of a difference between the two. Um, let's see, I'm trying to find the next color I want. Be, see, see, there's the C. So I just, I do find more actual diamond paintings with Diamond Art Club that I like than with Dreamers Designs, especially the birds. Um, although there has been, they have on, um, uh, Dreamers Designs, they're, a lot of people like them because they have the Curtis Reichovich uh, diamond paintings there. They're, it's the only place to get them as far as I know. Um, so they're like doll type paintings, I guess. Um, there is a couple of, of his that are, they're cute. I wouldn't mind having them. Um, I ha I'm going to be working on a Christmas kit from Dreamers Design starting next month, which I did an unboxing for. Uh, I taped it um, yesterday. It's going to be on my channel on um, Wednesday. It is uh, Ye Old Christmas Shop. I contemplated between that one and um, White Christmas, I think it's called. When I, when I went to go order, White Christmas was sold out, but I had already decided by then that although White Christmas looks beautiful, I was really worried about all those light colors and um, like multi-placing. Like, I just find with light colors, you can really see the gapping. And I was worried about that. Um, so I decided to go with <clears throat> ye old Christmas shop which is more traditional Christmas colors like lots of reds and greens on that one I cannot wait to work on that one it is huge it is uh, 60 by 90 I believe um, and you hear 60 by 90 and you're like I don't know it doesn't sound like super huge when you take it out of the box it's just it's it takes up my whole like when I, I, I took a picture of it, I wanted to take a picture of the canvas. I had to put it on my dining room table and it took a very big portion of my dining room table um, to be able to take the picture. But it has 10 ABs in it. 10. Um, and some of the colors, sure, it's just a, a small, but only a couple of them, really. There's, there's a decent amount of most of those colors and, and I think there's two bags of the 666 ABs, two big bags of it. And the the ABs are everywhere. That canvas, when it's done, it's gonna be so sparkly. I cannot wait. I am going to um, start working on that one on November 18th um, for jingle drills that Lindsay from Emeralds and Fairy Lights is putting on. And then um, there's also a event in the Facebook, one of the Facebook groups I'm in called Licensed DP Canada, I think that's what it's called. 
always forget what it's called. And I talk regularly in that group. I don't know why I can never remember the name. Um, so yeah, I, I can't wait to start working on that one. Um, so yesterday, um, uh, my daughter, they have, uh, like a therapist that comes into the schools here and my daughter has been asking to see my therapist just, to, she has a lot of like anxiety issues and, and stuff like that. And she goes to the counselor at the school fairly regularly and, um, she wanted to go see the school count or school therapist so she got a number to call to make an appointment and she could make the call but you also needed parental approval to do it so my husband had set up an appointment for her and it was yesterday actually a whole friend group almost like a, a few of them all had therapy appointments last week she was telling me so and so has an, had an appointment on Wednesday, and another one had one on Thursday, and I have mine on Friday. <laughs> I don't know. Um, as long as it helps them out, I suppose. But um, um, so yeah, it was supposed to be yesterday morning, Friday morning. So. I, uh, I get a message from her, um, on Discord. She's messaging me from school on Discord and she's freaking out because she went to where the appointment was supposed to be, the room where the appointment was supposed to be, and there's nobody in there and the lights are off and she's knocking and nobody's answering and she's freaking out. She can't get a hold of her dad because her dad's at work. I mean, I technically I'm working, but I work from home. Um, so I'm like trying to calm her down. I'm like, breathe. I'm like, cause she's like wanting to come home. Um, and stuff like this. So finally her dad, cause she also messaged, oh, I messaged her dad on discord. It's the easiest way to get a hold of him. Um, and um, she messaged him, he finally got back, and long story short, okay, because I was telling him, like, she's freaking out, like, she wants to come home, um, actually, she was freaking out so much, at one point, she's like, I don't want to walk home, and her school, if she was to walk home, was, would be about an hour walk, um, she had just told me the day before that she didn't even like to walk by herself to the McDonald's down the street from her school. But now she's telling me she wants to walk an hour from the school home. And I'm like, no, I don't want you walking that far by yourself. Um, so yeah, so her dad um, finally gets back to us and, or like my husband, and uh, I say her dad, like we're, we're not together. No, 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 that's my husband. Um, and yeah, so long story short, um, the th therapist services a few different schools and she thought it, for some reason, thought it was at a different school. He told me later, we were talking later that night and he said, yeah, um, I got her on the phone and she's, and you know, she's like, well, we had at nine o'clock, which was when her appointment was, this, her appointment was, um, she's like, well, we had a fire drill and my husband's like, okay, but the appointment was at blah, blah, blah school, which is my daughter's school. And she's like, oh, wait, just a second. I'm gonna check my email. And she's like, oh, that's like totally my fault. She thought it was at this other school. And he's like, okay, what are we gonna do to fix this? Cause she's kind of freaking out right now. And uh, she's like, um, I might be able to, fit her in right away and he's like well I hope so because right now she's wanting to come home and he's like she's like oh okay I, I can be there in like 10 minutes and he's like okay so she did have her appointment but it was like an hour or so after she originally was supposed to 
have an appointment. Um, and to me, that is just, if I was a child who had an appointment for like a therapy session like that at school and the therapist didn't show up because they, well, in her mind, she's like, I don't know what she thought was going on, honestly. Um, but that just, that doesn't exude trust to me. And for, to, for therapy to work properly, you have to trust the therapist that they have your best interests at heart. And if they can't even make your appointment, I, because they screwed up. I don't know. She seemed better. Like she messaged me after her appointment, uh, my daughter, and she said she felt better, which I was thankful for she's all she's like i got to hug a duck the whole time and i'm like you know goofing around with her because i obviously knew the answer but i'm like wait was it a stuffed duck or was it a real duck <laughs> you know just trying to lighten the mood or whatever and she's like it was so cute it was it was a stuffed duck and it was so squishy and she was <laughs> yeah she seemed a lot better she still kind of wanted to come home but my husband had said no because by this time um Actually, I think it was a few hours after her appointment because I think by the time I talked to her, it was like one o'clock. Um, and by this time, I'm like, well, you only have like a couple hours left to school and you're on your way home anyway. So, yeah, so she had she had a roughish day. Just the fact that. You know, she stresses out when things don't go the way they're supposed to. She's like me. I, I, all I could think about that day is, and I still think about this. I was probably younger than her and I went to a summer camp. It was like an artsy, like cartooning or something. It was at a school when I was a kid. It was at a school I didn't know. Um, and I remember, all I really remember is they, everybody was like in the gym area and they were calling people's names so they could go in their groups or whatever for this summer camp thing um and they didn't call my name either they didn't call my name or i didn't hear it or whatever and i was freaking out freaking out so much i was like in tears or close to being in tears like we are so much alike my daughter and me at that age like if things don't go right, if there's something that that um, just doesn't work out the way it should, like the whole, you know, they didn't call your name, like I feel like I messed up, that I did something wrong, that I didn't like didn't confirm something, um, or like in this situation with the summer camp, did my parents mess up and they, like it, it wasn't the fault of, in my mind, it wasn't the fault of like the program, it was something either me or my parents didn't do what we're supposed to do and oh my god like what's gonna happen like if i'm not actually supposed to be here and yeah <laughs> i stress about a lot of things like that i especially when i was a kid a little bit better now but even now i'm like when I, if i have to go do something i'm like double triple checking make sure i have the right time the right like spot everything like constant constant checking and even then i'm worried that when i get to wherever i need to go for whatever reason that something's going to go wrong that i messed up somewhere and that i didn't i didn't do something i was supposed to do or whatever until it's over until i'm like doing what i thought i was supposed to be doing or whatever like if it was an appointment or whatever whatever I'm just like, yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I, I don't like the fact that I pass this kind of stuff on to my kid, but it is what it is, I suppose. Um, let's see. 
let's see how long have we been talking oh well <laughs> what it's like 40 minutes <laughs> it's 40 minutes already i swear it's i ramble on and on and on um so yeah i think that's about it that i have to talk about Talked about the golden ticket and May May and compare Diamond Art Club with Dreamers Designs at Ellie's Friday and then my um, Christmas diamond painting. That's all I had on my list of stuff to talk about. And I was worried I wasn't going to be able to fill in my 40 minutes like I try to do. But apparently I like to ramble and it worked. Um, so yeah, so we are going to, I guess we'll end it there today. I'm going to, f off camera, I'm going to finish off this section like I usually do. And um, make sure you keep an eye out on Wednesday for the, um, the, what am I trying to say? Oh, the unboxing, the Dreamer's Design unboxing of the ye old christmas shop because that is it's gonna be amazing uh, amazing i need to figure out how i'm gonna hang that because i really want to hang it for christmas although it probably will not be done until like christmas eve it's my plan because i plan out exactly how long diamond paintings are going to take me section today blah 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 it's going to be done by this time <laughs> so i can figure out what i'm going to do next Plan, plan, plan. I <laughs> plan all the time. Um, so yeah, so I, like it's going to be done like Christmas Eve, I think, is the last section will be done. But I still want to figure out a way to hang it for Christmas. <laughs> so, I mean, even we can go into like the new year. It can still be hanging because it's going to be beautiful. I know it. If you have any ideas on how to, it's 90 long, like it's more wider than, um, so, no, sorry, 90 centimeters wide because it's wider more wider than long if that makes any sense it's more of a landscape than a portrait way <laughs> um but so if you have any ideas on how to hang that or not too janky well, let me know in the comments um so if you enjoyed this rambling whip and chat make sure you give it a thumbs up if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and the bell to be notified of future videos like the Christmas one coming on Wednesday. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Bye.